Get ready to match the stars. From Halsey, Crispin Freeman. From Neon Genesis, Evangelion, Tiffany Grant. And the Central Zone, Scott Frazier. From Princess Nine, Hillary Hayes. From Chief Disposable Entertainment, Bruce Lewis. And from Excel Sun, Jessica Calbella. As we play one of the stars for the anime match game. And here's your host, the star of the anime match game, Grego. Look at this. First of all, look at this. Look what I've done. And for that, I only have you guys to thank. Thank you very much, and welcome to Anime Match Game. We're going to make this one a special show. You've already seen the new wonderful presentation, and for that, let me bring her up here right now. I want to thank the lovely Elizabeth Kirkendall. She was the one who drew all those very pretty things. Elizabeth's going to help us out with our show here in a minute. I also want to thank someone who is not here with us. That melo Those melodious tones you heard were from the illustrious Brett Weaver. And, and I did the flash, but you know. Anyway, as you may or may not know, here on Anime Match Game, we try to give you, the audience, an opportunity to match our wonderful celebrity panel. Let's greet them now. Hello, stars! Hi. And it looks like we have a newcomer. This is she. She uh, played. She played with us last year at Anime Weekend Atlanta on Squares. But this is her first match game. This is Hillary Hayes. <laughs> Hillary likes me. So without In her three. Wow. <laughs> wow. So without further ado, let's get started with our game. Wow. If you get to see some ugly Windows things that I'm sure we're going to edit out, aren't we? Try again. Smile! Get along. Cannot do it, Captain. The engine's gonna take the train. Window. <laughs> I love you. There we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you guys should know how this works by now. And if you don't, I'll explain it. Uh, we asked the question for over our website at animematchgame.com. And we're going to get the response that was said most often. Now, if you all come up with the number three answer, and no one else comes up with two or one, you get on stage. If you get number two, and no one gets number one, you get on stage. But you'll probably, someone out there will probably get the number one answer. And I said she's going to help us out. The lovely Miss Elizabeth Kirkendall is going to help by going out to the audience. Now, here's how this works. Raise your hand, and she will come to you. If you shout out an answer, she will not, and you've just given a really good answer to the person next to you. <laughs> so here we go. We polled everyone on AnimeMatchGame.com, and we got, oh, 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 we got a glitch. Okay. We polled everyone on AnimeMatchGame.com, and we got their best response to this question. Name an anime character who can fly without the help of any sort of machine. Oh, God. Elizabeth, if you would, please. All right. Do you want everybody who gives an answer to remain standing? Uh, yes. When you okay. give an answer, remain standing, and uh, right. we will keep going until I'm confident that we have a contestant. All right. Goku. Goku, okay. All right. We have a Goku. Stand up. Oh, no. I can't see. Who can fly Eternal Sailor Moon. Eternal Sailor Moon. Okay, is that right? Eternal Sailor Moon, keep going. You keep going? Yeah, keep on going. Alright. You can do this here. Afterboard. Afterboard. Oh, that's nice. And you just... Wait, how do you use a machine? Vegeta? 
If you can come up with the answer that matches more celebrities than your opponent, you're going to win. We play three questions, and if we're tied at the end of the third question, we will do a one-question tiebreaker. And you'll understand how it works as we go along. The first round questions are usually pretty wide open. So, Nick, we're going to let you go first that you got on stage first. Would you like A or B? B. All right, B is what you want. Here we go. All right, it's a brand new game, folks. Everybody plays. Everybody plays. Let's rock. All right. Frida said. Frida. Man, the food in this hotel is expensive. How, how expensive, expensive is it? I'll tell you how expensive it is. Thanks. Yeah. I went to the restaurant this morning for breakfast with twenty dollars, and all that got me was a blank. Wait, who's Frida? Uh, I thought maybe it was important to know Frida, Frida, Frida said, man, the food in this hotel is expensive. How expensive I went to the, <laughs> Thank you. I went to the restaurant this morning for breakfast with twenty dollars, and all that got me was a blank. <laughs> Tiffany is ready. Scott is done. Kristen is ready. Tiffany is happy. Frida said, man, the food in this hotel is expensive. I went to the restaurant this morning for breakfast for $20, and all that got me was a... A glass of water. A glass of water. That's, That's pretty darn answer. expensive. All right, let's see if any of these guys have glass of water. Crispin, we start with you, sir. What do you have? I have a glass of water. A glass of water. Wow, we start off again with a match. Good job, Nick Tiffany. Triangle? Yes, triangle Excellent. for you. Oh, well, I didn't know they were quite that expensive. I... I thought maybe you could at least get a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee, that's another good answer. This is close to <laughs> but it doesn't match, right? <laughs> so can I have a buzzer, please? <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, we figured out now that the buzzer is not incorporated into here, and I'll need a buzzer from back there. That's okay, cool. <laughs> good. Okay, well, I gave that away early. All right, Scott, we go to you now. $20, all we got was a... Well, I was, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, you know, glass of water, glass of water, but you just, you don't pay for water anywhere. And so I'm like, a single slice of bacon. A slice of bacon ah! for $20, all right. That's, that's an ex expensive hog there. All right, Hillary, uh, man, the food in this hotel is expensive. I went to the restaurant this morning for breakfast with $20, and all that got me was a... Well, I was thinking along the bread and water lines, I said piece of toast. A piece of toast. <laughs> An expensive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That bread cost a lot of bread. All right, Bruce Lewis. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I originally was going to say Bippy, but uh, plain bagel. A plain bagel for twenty dollars. All righty, <laughs> Jessica. We come to you. Last chance for a glass of water. I said bagel, no butter. A bagel, no butter. All right. Well, What's with Nick, the you got yourself one there. That's really good. First round questions are usually pretty wide open. So, Matt, we go to you, and you get A. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, back. It's no, raining. Yeah. It's snowing. All right, here we go. <laughs> Freddy the Foul Odor Fanboy. How foul odor was he? Well, I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> Freddy the Foul Odor Fanboy went to the computer dating service. Oh, dear. Uh, Boy, was he disappointed. Oh, How disappointed was he, Grego? Well, y'all are just going to take every adjective I say, aren't you? <laughs> How are we... <laughs> <laughs> he was so disappointed because the computer matched him with a blank. <laughs> Freddy the Foul Odor Fanboy went to the computer dating service. Boy, was he disappointed because the computer matched him with a blank. Grego, <laughs> can we say this? So, 
Matt. Freddy the Foul Odor fanboy went to the computer dating service. Boy, was he disappointed because the computer matched him with a demon. With a demon. Who oh. about that? Demon? I don't know. Bad? If the demon was it's female, demon. you know, it could have been Ryoko, and the, and the fanboy would have loved that. But we'll see if we have any demons over here. Demons be gone! Well, no, I mean, demons come out! Yes, okay. Crispin, we're looking for a demon. What do you offer? No, I, I offered him a bar of soap. <laughs> A bar of soap, no demon there. No, Tiffany Grant. I was also thinking that opposites attract, and I thought maybe Freddy would be matched up with a bar of soap. With a bar of soap. That's shaping up to be the answer here. Scott, what do you offer? Well, <laughs> it's another, it is a form of demon, another smelly fanboy. Oh! oh, demonic yes, demon no. All right, Freddy the Fell Ordered fanboy went to the computer dating service. He was disappointed because the computer matched him with... Well, at first I thought he'd be really disappointed by being matched with a man. <laughs> but then I was kind of thinking along the demon lines and said, a Disney character. <laughs> oh. Well, when they give general and you give specific, that's a match. But when they give specific and you give general, so there are some Disney demons, but there's other Disney characters, too. I like Disney. They're so Thank funny. You. Welcome. All right, Bruce Lewis, we're looking for a demon. Unfortunately, he gets sock instead. Oh, a demon sock. All right, Jess, last chance for a demon. What do you offer, darling? I offer a skunk. A skunk would be a good match for a smelly fan fanboy, but not a match for Matt over here. Okay. Or at furry I'm, con. I'm wondering what kind of demons he has that smell bad, though. What kind of demons smell bad? Fire and brimstone? Come on. What? Brimstone? Oh, I guess. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, be... I, I can't think of a smelly demon, but if Ryoko were a demon and she were smelly, you could get her not that way with wash shoe. Oh. oh. 